Hi, this is Clint with Tech Bargains, and today we're going to look at LogMeIn Ignition, made by LogMeIn. This program allows you to connect to a remote PC from any location, as long as you have an iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone. First thing that you'll need to do is install the software onto the remote uh, PC that you're wanting to connect to. You can do that by going to the LogMeIn website and downloading the software. From there, it'll ask you for a couple different pieces of information. It'll ask you for an email address. And then it'll also ask you for a password as well as an access code. So let's go ahead and go into the program. Okay, the first option you're going to see is uh, it's going to ask you for an email address and a password. And this was assigned by the PC uh, when you installed the software. So let's go ahead and type that in. Okay, once you're logged in, uh, the next option that you've got to choose from are the uh, PCs that you have the software installed on. As long as they are turned on, uh, it'll show a green circle there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what we'll do is click on the PC that we want to connect to. Next, it's going to give you three more options. This uh, first option here allows you to connect directly to the desktop so that you can view uh, your desktop on the device that you have. The second option allows you to just click on uh, different files that are on the PC uh, under documents. Any files or folders uh, that are on documents will be viewed on the iPad at that point. And then you've got the option to uh, click this information button and that tells you the IP address and the last time you logged on and it will also allow you to uh, clear the credentials if you have any. Okay, let's go ahead and click on the first button. Okay, this is going to ask for your access code. I'll go ahead and type that in now. Next, it's going to ask for a personal password. Now, this is only going to ask you for this if you uh, opted for that in the options on the remote PC, which I did. Okay, once you're logged in, uh, this will allow you to look at some hints that it has, uh, which is good option to have at the very beginning until you get used to the application. Um, it's pretty much like any other touchpad. Uh, you zoom by pinching in or, or uh, pushing out. You can single click by just tapping once, you can double click by tapping twice, and so on and so forth. Okay, as you can see, you can see my desktop now. It's kind of cluttered. That's okay. Uh, what you want to do is, you've got a mouse button, or what an image that looks like a mouse and then you've also got the the mouse above it you'll use your finger to move the mouse around by holding on to that picture of that mouse and then you can also left click by uh, clicking on the left side of it or right clicking by clicking on the right side of it so let's say I've got a picture right here we'll go ahead and click on it Oops. I'll open the picture and this is actually opening on my desktop also and then you can also right click and that'll show you some properties there so we'll go ahead and close and this works for all documents um, whether it's a PDF or a Word document or you want to open up an app application uh, you're actually doing this from your PC, so it's, it's just like you're at your PC. Alright, and there are some other options down here at the bottom. Let me see if I can scroll for you. Down. Get to see them a little bit better. Okay, your first option is the keyboard. This brings it up for you. The, section op the second option allows you to Alt-Tab and Control-Delete. The third option allows you to uh, either use the mouse as a left button, or excuse me, left handed or right handed, and then your zoom feature, which then you can move around, scroll around and stuff. Go ahead and click that back. And this uh, fifth option here is for monitors. If you've got dual monitors, this allows you to switch to the other monitor, which is kind of cool. And then you've got some options here you can click on and this allows you to set the color quality, the resolution, uh, which monitor you want it to default to, and allows you to uh, change scroll mode 
options there, and then you can screen blanking. Just a bunch of different things. And then you've got the option at the very last to end the session. We'll go ahead and end it. The second um, thing I want to show you here was the files tab. This will show you the documents that you have sitting under your documents folder on your profile. So as you can see I've got all my folders here. You can click on them, select multiple folders, and then you can uh, say we want to click on this camping document. And once you do that, you got the option at the very bottom here to either open, uh, you can actually copy it to a different folder on your PC, or you have the option of copying it to the iPad or whatever device that you have, and then moving it. And you also have the option to rename it and delete it, and then in some occasions you have the ability to email it um, to somebody. So let's go ahead and go back here. And you can go back by clicking on the top right, and that'll show you the windows that you have available. Uh, right now we have the three. You've got your file, folders and files button there, and then you also have the option to look at some uh, photos and things that are on the device that you're doing this from. So for instance, the uh, iPad. All right, oops, excuse me. Okay, so we'll go back to the top right there, and go back to my computer. This takes you back to the very first screen. And that's about it. Um, you can do this from anywhere as long as you've got a wireless connection. And it works very seamlessly. Um, I haven't had any problems with it lagging as long as I've got a strong signal and a quick internet. Uh, as I said, you can buy this in the App Store for uh, regularly $30.99, or yeah, $30.99, uh, on sale right now for $14.99. If you like this app and you'd like to see some other apps, uh, check us out at www.techbargains.com forward slash reviews. And then you can also check us out on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash techbargains. Thank you.